Hello and welcome, Matt aka Lethal Frag here. Could be doing some commentary on Berlin Wall with the Spash 12 shotgun. Been stopped from doing commentary for about the past week and a half as I've had the respiratory flu. Had a really nasty cough, which is not good for commentary. I did cut a couple sections out of this clip just because it was too big to upload on YouTube for the full thing. But I cut out most of the non shotgun stuff and got right to the action. Before I talk about shotgun tactics, I'd just like to talk about this map real quick. For a lot of people really don't like this map because it's full of campers. And that is very true. But after putting on the shotgun, I absolutely love this map because campers are in the buildings where you want them to be. Now if you look at this map from an overhead view, it's really very straightforward. There's the two large side streets, one of which I'm running down right now. There's a main camp building on each side with some smaller buildings on each side of the street. And that's really all there is to this map. It's actually quite large, but very simple. The trick to this map, using a shotgun or not, is to really pay attention to what your teammates are doing. If your teammates are running circles around the map, you're probably better off sitting still, waiting for the enemy to spawn and try to run inside the buildings. It's especially true with the shotgun, because that's right in your wheelhouse. As a general rule, I try to cover the side that my teammates are not on, because that's the most likely side that the enemies will be running down. Tried pretty much all variations of the shotgun, Olympia, Spass, Stakeout. All the good ones. I gotta say the Spass is by far my favorite, if only for having an 8 round clip, which is pretty amazing. Now, for this class setup I have Ghost, Steady Aim, and Hacker. I think Hacker's a must for any shotgun class, even if it's a loud shotgun like the Olympia, because it allows you to see where people are camping with claymores. And that's the people that you want to go get because they're sitting inside the buildings, which is right where you need them to be. Keeps you within 20 feet, makes them super easy to kill. You just breach the claymore with a flashbang or concussion and run up the stairs and kill them. Now this is really the reality of using a shotgun, is you have to stay in the building, stay in corners. You know, really be a sneaky bastard. And uh, a lot of people really don't like people that use shotguns. And I've gotten a lot of hate games. I've used it for about 80 games straight now. And I, every time I own, I get somebody raging on me about using a shotgun. But the fact is that using a shotgun takes more skill than a gun. Because you have to put yourself in a position to get kills, which is within 20 feet. Now I've seen some pretty horrible shotgun players that just sit in the corner. And that's really not what it's about. It's about keeping the enemy from flanking your team. And I always appreciate when I see somebody on my team that's using a shotgun. Because I know I'm not going to be getting flanked. We've actually had games on here. We've had two or three teammates using a shotgun. It's, it's pretty amazing. The other team ends up getting really angry. Um, I ended up putting on dogs for this game. I don't really recommend doing that for a shotgun. I just did it, did it for fun. It's really hard to get 11 kills straight with any gun, but especially a shotgun because you have to put yourself within that 20 foot range, and to do that 11 times is not easy. I got low on ammo so I picked up this person's gun. Um, another strategy I use, especially on bigger maps using a shotgun, is I'll pick up a new gun right away. You know, this really keeps it fresh, you get to use a large variety of guns so you don't get gun burnout. I used the Famas for about 10,000 kills straight, and now I can barely stand to look at the thing. But it's alright, pick it up every once in a while. Pulled the noob move here and forgot to reload. Almost died. But we got there. And we'll fast forward a little bit. I killed about five people with that FAMAS before dying. Nothing special. I've already talked about Hacker with the shotgun, but I really think Steady Aim is very important. Uh, especially Steady Aim Pro is pretty amazing. What Steady Aim Pro does is makes you recover faster from knife lunges and aim faster out of sprinting. Now you see the Spass has an 8 round clip. I try to keep at least 6 bullets in the clip at all times. This allows you to kill 2 or 3 people no problem, especially at close range inside a building. A uh, quick tip with the spas or any shotgun, stakeout, whatever, when you're reloading it, if you tap sprint really fast, it stops your reload motion. This allows you to only reload two or three bullets at a time, and with Steady Aim Pro, you aim back very quickly.
I like this building especially if they're if they're rushing the street really fast this is a great place to hang out with your shotgun they almost always try to come inside this building and then you just blast them Even with the shotgun, this map can be extremely frustrating, especially when you're first trying to learn it with the shotgun. It's uh, it's not very fun, but once you get the hang of it, you kind of figure out where people are coming from, you know, which side of the street. Try not to think so much about rushing to get people when you first start playing this map. Try to figure out which way the enemy is going to rush and cut them off. That is the absolute key to winning this game, especially in a team setting. It's not getting flanked. If you cannot get flanked on this map, you're going to win the game, hands down. This building's also a really nice cutoff point with a shotgun. You don't want to poke your head out too much on the street there, but you can see anybody that comes by through that little door and enable yourself to cut off the enemy from flanking your team. So it also gives you a very quick vantage point in the middle, which is great. So now this is a sweet kill. Don't get one of these every day. That's about the max range for this bass. I'd already hit that guy, that's why he died. But from that range, it usually takes four shots to kill somebody. Anywhere inside a building, it's only going to take one or two. But max is about four. It sometimes takes five if you're at the absolute max range. Well, that's about all I got. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I'll catch you soon. Frag out.